sorry. Go ahead. I'm just like. I'm just like... Hi, Jeff. Oh, where'd Mike go? summer program and we also participated in the Junior Olympics which is, uh, is a great tournament for all all water polo in fact it's an uh, international tournament but uh, predominantly from, from the United States and uh, we got to participate in that as far as the bests for the season we had our best varsity record ever 20 and 14 uh, we had our best early bird tournament, which is uh, probably the toughest tournament up to the state tournament we play in all year. We had a three and two record in that uh, tournament and played very well. Our, our varsity team defense uh, had its best season ever. We allowed only eight goals per game against us. And overall, we had a plus 2.1 on a goal scored versus goals against. So it was our best season in that regard also. As far as most, we won our most games at states. We won two games this year, that's the best we've ever done. And the two previous times we've been to states, we didn't win any the first time, we won one last year, and we won two this year, so we're on the, we're on the right track. We also won the most games in our championship season. Uh, we won three games at regionals and, and two at states, for a total of five, by far our best performance. And just to, just to digress a minute on that, uh, on the state tournament, last year we ended up finishing seventh this year, and last year we finished sixth, but the difference was we won one game last year, we won two this year. 
in last year we were at the state tournament, we were outscored by um, 32 goals in, the, in five games. Uh, this year we outscored, other than our Rockford game, we outscored the other teams by three goals in our four remaining games, so it was quite a turnaround. Also, we played by far the most difficult schedule we've ever had at Troy High this year. With um, We had 15 games against teams who were ranked in the top five of the state. And we also was our most consistent season. We were 16 and all against teams who were ranked lower than us. So we were definitely in the upper half, upper, I should say the upper echelon of the teams in the state of Michigan that we played very consistently. We had our largest squad, 25 players on the team this year. We also had our most first-year players, 11 first-year players. We had our most seniors, 10, and we had the most players that score during the season. We had 24 players score. We also played our most uh, games in the, as a JV squad, 13, and that was even uh, with having to drop out of uh, the, the tournament and having a couple games canceled. Um, some records that we, we uh, set were, uh, Chad set the record for the most saves in the season from Troy High. <laughs> Kevin Losey set a record for the most kickouts Kick in the season. Missing <laughs> <laughs> out Mike, who had 35. He was glad you got that last one. <laughs> and uh, uh, one I forgot on here was uh, John Thomas set a record for the most assists Scholar athletes, 12. We had our most, most academic all state <laughs> players, six, and our most all academic all Americans, three. So overall, we did it with a very good <laughs> Also, I think it's important too to recognize that we had a lot of success in the pool. Um, Played a lot of games, played real well, everybody improved a lot, but a big chunk of that was all the work that the parents put into helping us this year. And I'd like to take a few minutes here to, to recognize some of the parents for their contributions. Uh, first of all, Greg Benatelli, who is our ABLE trip captain. As usual, I put Greg to the test and he came through in flying colors particularly the state tournament where we didn't know what time we were going or everything, and uh, everything went real well. I, I was really nervous about playing at Pioneer on a Michigan football day, but I think it turned out uh, actually not too bad. Not too bad, so it, was, uh, it worked out much better than I expected. Um, one of the things uh, uh, also that we did different this year was we had uh, uh, away meat food, uh, and we had people, uh, Laura Drews and Pat Painter did a great job in getting food organized for us. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, we had um, our home meat tournament director, Don Thomas, with his crew of uh, Jess Drews and Greg Benatelli, Mike Martone, Nick Vitale, uh, Patty Gervaisian with water, and everybody that pushed in for preparing the pool and the area for our home game. We really appreciate all your efforts. <laughs> also, at those home games, we had great programs uh, that Pat Painter put together for us.
helped us uh, and handled the clothing and the, uh, all that uh, stuff, which I know because it was a real chore having done that before ourselves, and we really appreciate your, your help. And Jan organized the food and the snacks for before the tournaments and after the, after the games, and we really appreciate it. And uh, last and certainly not least, in fact, maybe the biggest job of all, Raj Oak is, uh, is, is organizing the poinsettia sales. And um, Mr. Oak is correct. We're going to have our distribution uh, on December, December 1st at noon, right outside the auditorium there. Also, in the last newsletter, I think all of you should have seen the times that you've signed up to work the uh, Parent-teacher conferences for for selling your poinsettias. So make sure you get uh, make sure you're there to get your sales, and we'll, we'll have another <coughs> big uh, a big event. One of the things that we did this year is we really tried to have the cost be minimized for our team, and we paid for much of the, the stuff this year uh, through the poinsettia sales. In fact, we spent uh, a little over six thousand dollars on. Uh, on uh, meals, on travel expenses, on shirts, t-shirts, uh, suits, uh, we basically pay for everything for the team. So um, that, it takes a lot of money to do that and uh, these points set of sales besides let's go to water polo camp, um, go a long way towards that and we want to make sure we continue that next year. So, and some people can get two suits. I'm putting them in bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but now, um, thank you all, all parents. We really appreciate all your help. If I, if I uh, overlook somebody, I'm, I'm sorry. Everybody did a great job. It was wonderful uh, this year. What I'd like to do now is uh, turn the podium over to the players. I think the captains have some uh, gifts that they want to uh, uh, pass out. So, Captains. Okay, every year all the captains give paper plate awards to all the players. So I guess I'll start off. Alright, this freshman, he was a really shy kid. He started off, I didn't really know him that well because I had never seen him before. And then midway through season, after I got to know him, I guess he was adopted into the Jackson family. And uh, basically the, the history between us is we have like two families, the Oak family and the Jackson family. And so, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, the adopted one, Chris Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, it looks like his bag is aggravated or something. And Matt goes, uh, Andrew, what, what, what's wrong, buddy? Are you all right? And he's like, yeah, you know, my back is always hurting. I'm studying and writing too much. <laughs> so he gets the uh, Mr. Studious Award. <laughs> year player, um, the season definitely would not have been the same without him. Uh, unfortunately, it was too bad that uh, mom said, that granddad said, uh, that Dave's shoulder would get hurt if he played water polo. Uh, Dave Allen was a great manager, as he would say. He always, uses, uh, he always overuses the word great and unbelievable. But uh, even though he fails to use uh, possessive pronouns in his speech, uh, Alan was a great manager and a good kid, so uh, we give Dave Allen the Great Possessive Pronoun Award. <laughs> okay, this, this player is a senior. He's been uh, playing for the last three years, and uh, without him, we wouldn't have got.
gotten as far as we have gotten. And uh, I guess last season I wanted to, I guess, practice over the off season, so I borrowed one of his balls. And it said, I don't know, he has like quotes on it and like his random sayings. And he actually names the balls. So, uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, this kid, um, this kid would always, always call me for rides for practice and everything, and, uh, he didn't really get out very much, um, but, but um, he always wanted to go to 7-Eleven. Give him the award. <laughs> 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 
This kid was is a senior, but he's new to the team, and for some reason he made it through the entire season without learning how to tread water. I, I can't. I, I, it's amazing how he did it. But uh, but John Mann gets the deep water two award. <laughs>
I've been like, he's been living myself for for uh, for as long as I've known him, and uh, he always has, he always, he can always make me laugh every anytime any mood I'm in. He always makes me laugh. He's like these little jokes, really little things that he does, or impressions, mainly impressions. So the impression for this year would be uh, he actually was net bully for Halloween, and. Yeah, Jameson, just come up here and do an impression. What? Do it. 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 Do now you kids are probably saying, hey man, I want to go out there and get the world by the tail and wrap it around and pull it down and put it in your pocket. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, as you go out there, you're probably going to find out you're not going to amount to Jack Squat! <laughs> you're going to end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and then to the van down by the river. <laughs> sidekick Alok and um, this year he was he was named the, the JV captain with Chambers and um, I always joked with him that he was the head cheerleader and but I, I really do not want to see him in a cheerleading outfit or anything like that so so um, Alok gets the uh, head cheerleading award Part of the game. Well, this guy, he gets in there and he, he takes all those little like bumps and nudges personally. Well, when someone does this to him, he's you know he's quite a strong kid and uh, he's been known to cause some injuries. John Martone has been known for uh, really causing uh, pain to a kid named RB at uh, Huron. He, he hurt a kid's shoulder accidentally, uh, and the kid had to have ice. Yes, accidentally. He always comes up with this beautiful story. It's always like, you know, my knee slipped and my, my elbow had accidentally slid. I swear to God, Coach Jackson, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And Warren, and Warren's like, cool it, John, cool it, you know, play, play solid, play solid finesse. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, we gave John McDonald, even though he didn't have all the finesse and everything, he was a smart talker and he played well and solid. We gave him the accidental enforcer award. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that's just the 
chicken on the ground here. <laughs> so we got this chicken here for Kevin Losey because it reminds me of uh, this ain't eh sound. That he <laughs> <laughs> uh, to go along with that, you know, Ventelli, I think, said that he likes to fix everything. And uh, so we got you a hat says, I can fix anything, where's the duct tape? <laughs> <laughs> Talks about cars. 
So we got him this. What a, and he always, his favorite quote is "What a viper!" So we got him this viper. Uh, during the, our 
uh, high school season in 12 in our summer program. He scored a goal. He had five steals. Um, David had uh, great improvement in his swimming skills and his endurance improved. Also, his ball handling and passing and dribbling have improved significantly. Uh, he's going to be a big contributor next year. And David, we have for you a varsity letter. Congratulations. Mike Vitale is our next freshman. Um, he played 24 games. He uh, had 100%. Also had 100% attendance. He came to 14 practices this summer in our summer program. He scored five goals and he had eight assists. Uh, again, our, his swimming has improved um, significantly playing on the team this year. And his defense was, it was really a strong point. He was very aggressive, particularly in the, at the end of the season. And uh, we could count on him to, to play a very solid defense. His ball handling also improved. And for, uh, for Mike, we have a varsity letter. Congratulations. <laughs> Freshman um, is Christopher Johnson. Chris uh, came, uh, played in 24 games. Again, 100% attendance in practice. He also went, went to more practices than any other player this summer in our summer program. He also participated in JOs. Uh, he scored 12 goals. He had 16 assists, 18 steals. He had our team, uh, I think you noticed in the newsletter, I always publish uh, a statistic sheet. And uh, uh, one of the things we keep track of is the number of, of uh, players that are in the top 12 in each individual category, individual uh, statistical category that we maintain. Chris was in the top 12 in eight of those categories. Um, he's an excellent swimmer with great endurance. He always won the Rambos in his, uh, for his class. His defense was excellent. He learned his position very well, and his game skills came very quickly. Uh, he also volunteered to play goalie and worked out at goalie, his goalie quite a bit this year. And we also have Chris the varsity letter. Congratulations. <laughs> we had a great uh, freshman class. Unfortunately, Jesse Lee and uh, Ryan Clements weren't able to join us tonight, but. Uh, the six freshmen and, and did a great job, and we really appreciate all their hard work. And uh, congratulations, guys. Okay, we'd like to uh, now talk uh, about our sophomores. The sophomores could come up. Alex Mata is our first uh, sophomore I'd like to go over and talk about today. Um, Alex played 14 games. He participated in our summer program. He's learned quite a bit. He scored nine goals, really developed at the end of the season a good scoring touch. Uh, he had five assists, five steals. He was in the top 12 on two, two different categories. His swimming skills have continued to improve. And his egg beater, uh, in particular, has improved. And one of the things I really uh, enjoyed was uh, at the regional tournament when uh, on an inbounds play after a two meter, he made a great steal going up and getting the ball. And the guy uh, uh, thought he could get the pass over Alex's head. So I did a great job. Like I said, he's developed into quite a scoring threat. He's also a scholar athlete. And he did a great job this year. Good job. <laughs> Greg uh, played 32 games this year. He attended them. He attended more practices than anybody else on the team this season. He uh, also had the lowest goals against average for many of our goalies. He scored eight goals. He had 16 assists. He was in the top 12 in eight different categories. Uh, he's like I said, he's developed into a, a very good goalie. He has excellent eye hand skills. 
He's a good ball handler and passer. Uh, he's developing his shot blocking skills in the goal and his swimming has improved as well as his endurance. And I think uh, after summer or another winter of swimming, he's going to be even stronger next year. So Greg Losey did a great job. Austin Myers is our is our third uh, um, sophomore. He's a first year player. He played in 34 games. He had 100% attendance. He also uh, came to 14 practices this summer. He attended Navy camp and uh, went to JOs. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be your brother. <laughs> Um, he scored 18 goals and had 11 assists. He had 18 steals and he was in the top 12 on five different categories. Um, he's developed into a very good whole set. He always pays attention. He's, he's uh, um, asked very good questions. One of the things we can always count on from Austin is some uh, is a very very good question at the right time when we're having practice. He has a great attitude and he's been a pleasure to have on the team. Real joy to, to coach. So Austin. Well, one of the things I should have mentioned in these packets, uh, the guys will get. They will have their own uh, individual statistics for their for uh, their season. They'll also have the team summaries and um, a sheet from tonight showing what the program is. So, congratulations, guys. selections and we have a certificate for him and we have also a plaque for him. Players from uh, from our 
from the Troy side of the team that, that joined with the Birmingham team. Um, Greg scored 30 goals, had 19 assists, 54 steals. He was in the top 12 in six different offensive categories. Uh, Greg genuinely enjoys the game, and he, as you can tell from this evening, really likes being on the team. Um, he's played very well, played very well, particularly defensively at regionals, and that was really his best, uh, his best I've ever seen him play. So he had a great season. Congratulations, good job, Greg. particularly in practice. He always wanted to get in the goal and have everybody shoot at him. And they all seem to like doing that. He has, he's, he's one of these kids that uh, really makes coming to practice fun. Uh, he has a great attitude. He's fun to have on the team. Uh, I like the way that he picks on Warren instead of me. And uh, his water polo skills have really improved uh, dramatically. He's had a great season. And he's a pleasure to have on the team. Congratulations. <laughs> the next junior is Alok Ejifachin. Alok is in his third year on the team. He played 31 <laughs> games this year, uh, played in JOs. Uh, two years, for the last two years, he's gone to Navy camp. He had uh, 13 steals this year. He was in the top five, he was in the top 12 in five different offensive categories. He was a scholar athlete. He's a JV captain. Um, he played very well, particularly at the end of the season as a defensive full set, and really, uh, really helped us a great deal in the JV uh, games in that position. His swimming has improved, his ball handling has improved, and his uh, uh, particularly, he has a good court sense. He presence. He knows where he, he knows where the ball is. He knows where his other players are, and he does a nice job out there, and has improved uh, significantly. Good job, Will. Yeah. He's had a 
team record for assists with 81. He had 133 steals, and he was in the top, uh, he was in eight categories, he was in the top 12. Um, he also led the team to kickouts drawn. He was an All-State nominee for the Michigan Water Polo Association, and he was an All-American nominee for Junior Olympics. He's an intense competitor in the games or practice. He demands perfection from himself and the others on the team. His overall game has improved uh, tremendously, particularly in the defensive side of the um, game. Steals and uh, passing the ball and his assists were a big improvement this year. He has great awareness and presence in the, in the water and he's a <coughs> tremendous endurance and constant threat. Rarely, rarely would he come out of the game. Jonathan was also recognized as an all-regional player as well as an all-county player this year. And we have a plaque for him. And congratulations, John. Thank you. Okay, seniors. Okay, I'd like to start with our first year players. It's kind of unusual to have first year players in the uh, in your senior class, but this year we had a couple. Um, first, uh, David Allen. Uh, David, David played, like somebody said earlier, one game this year, scored a goal, had two assists, averaged one goal per game, and ends up being one of the higher players on the team. <laughs> the, uh, but most of the time, <coughs> His real contribution to us was keeping the statistics and uh, helping Warren and I out, keeping track of what was going on during the game. As a manager, um, he did a wonderful job, by far the best, uh, the best we've ever had at Troy High, and um, it uh, it was really a big uh, it was a big plus for for the coaches. Also, uh, David was an academic uh, all-state selection for water polo. And we have a plaque and a certificate for him. Okay, our next first year senior is uh, John Mann. Uh, John played in 37 games this year played in more games than anybody else on the team. He scored 43 goals, he had 25 assists, he had 42 steals, and he was in the top 12 in eight different categories. He had a great attitude for water polo. Um, he maintains his composure, but he's not afraid to mix it up. Uh, and that's kind of an understatement. Um, he's an excellent all-around athlete, and he learns very quickly. Uh, he has a great presence out there in the in the pool. He's an excellent swimmer, but he also can handle the ball well, passes well, <coughs> knows where his players are. Uh, he really, there's very little you have to do to coach John. He just knows how to do it naturally. Um, he was a pleasure to have on our team and made a big impact on it for us, particularly at the regional and state tournaments. Tonight, so he missed quite a bit this. Uh, season, but uh, he's, he's working real hard, and like the kid said, he was studying when he was sitting on the bench at the state tournament. So, uh, he definitely has his academic uh, priorities uh, in the right place. Um, next, I'd like to talk about Brian Rowe. Uh, Brian Rowe is another third-year player. He played 26 games for us this year. He uh, participated in our summer program, uh, came to 12 practices during the summer. He attended Navy camp for the second year, if I'm not mistaken, as well as uh, participated in JOs. He scored seven goals, nine assists, had nine assists, 15 steals. He was in the top, he was in the top 12 in four different offensive categories. He's an excellent swimmer with good speed. He worked hard on his ball handling skills and improved significantly. We can count on him for solid defense. When we put him in, we try to put him in and try to get him on uh, one of their faster players so he could uh, hang with them and uh, he helped us out a great deal. 
He's a scholar athlete, an example of how much, and, and I, he's a scholar athlete, and I always like to use Brian as the example when people ask about uh, what can you learn playing water polo. Uh, when Brian came out three years ago, uh, his, first, his first practice, he asked me if he could practice, and I said, sure, and then I started seeing him try to swim a length of the pool, and he almost <laughs> didn't make it. And I was a little nervous. And uh, now he's one of the now he's one of the strongest swimmers on the team, and it's been a great, uh, uh, you know, a great example of how hard work and dedication pays off. Uh, Brian is also uh, an academic all-state selection. Um, he's also going to be one of the three first academic all-Americans from Troy High for water polo. So, Brian, congratulations. <laughs> Next uh, third year player is Chad Painter. Uh, Chad played 34 games for us this year. He played 133 quarters. He, was, he played more than anybody else on the team. He set a record for saves with 360. He improved his goals allowed average to, to uh, um, less than nine. He participated in JOs and Navy camp. Uh, he also, outside the, the pool, he maintained our team website, which he did for a couple years and did a great job on. He spent, he spent uh, a lot of time this year working with some of our younger players as they were trying to develop their goalie skills, and we really appreciate that. He takes, uh, he takes water polo very seriously, and Chad was, uh, was in our top 12 in seven different categories. He was a big contributor to our team's success. He was also nominated for All-State by the Michigan Water Polo Association. Our next third year uh, player was Kevin Losey. Um, three years on the team and all three years went to the state tournament. That's a record that no one else can uh, here with, uh, we have a couple other people that have been to three state tournaments, but it took him four years. Kevin did it in three by taking a year off. Once we got Kevin back, we started going to the state tournament again. Um, uh, Kevin also is a record setter, as I mentioned earlier, setting the record for kickouts in a season, 36. Um, but he, the reason he got that was because he always had the toughest defensive assignment. We could put him out there against the best players in the state, and he would hold his own. He might come back a little banged up and bruised. We wouldn't quite understand what he was saying, but but he uh, he, made, he managed to, to get through it. Um, he had a great attitude, works very hard, and uh, even developed a scoring touch at the end of the season, <laughs> scoring two goals in one game at the at the uh, in uh, the state tournament. He was uh, top 12 in seven different categories. He was also nominated as an All-State for Michigan Water Polo Association. Congratulations. <laughs> During the summer, came to 12 practices. He scored 21 goals, had 12 assists, had 50 steals, and was top 12 in eight different offensive categories. Uh, Matt's defensive game this year was really where I saw the biggest improvement, and we could put him out there against uh, all kinds of players, and he handled, handled his own. He has, he has good swimming speed and ball handling skills. He plays a smart game. He's a scholar athlete. He's also nominated for All-State Michigan Water Polo Association. Congratulations. Okay, the 
The last three players we have are four-year seniors. Um, first, Jonathan Martone. Jonathan played 28 games this year. He scored six goals and had three assists. He had 14 steals. Uh, as we heard earlier, he, John likes to uh, get out there and uh, play with uh, particularly the tough guys from the other team. He has good swimming speed and his ball handling skills have improved. He always seemed, like I said, he always seemed to be in the middle of the action. He's a scholar athlete and he had a great season. Congratulations, John. Next, we have uh, one of our other captains, Nikhil Oak, four-year captain, three-time in state. <laughs> Warrior player, uh, team captain, three-time state tournament participant. He scored 55 goals this year, had 101 steals and 32 assists. He had 100% participation this year. He was attended Navy the last two years, also JOs, and he came to 14 summer practices. He was top 12 in eight categories. He's been a quiet leader on the team, a consistent performer, Rarely fatigued, he plays virtually all the time. He's an excellent shooter. He's a pleasure to have on the team. He's also nominated for All State by the Michigan Water Polo Association, scholar athlete, academic All State, and will be an academic All American from Troy High. Congratulations. <laughs> this year, four-year attendee at Navy Water Polo Camp, twice J.O. participant. Uh, he played in 33 games this year. He was the leading scorer on the team. He led the team in steals with 138. He had 46 assists. Uh, behind the scenes, many of you don't know all the work that Mike put in this year. As a captain, uh, particularly when your dad's a coach, you end up getting a lot of jobs that a lot of other people don't necessarily want to do. So uh, Mike got to do all those things for me, and I really appreciate it. He helped Warren and I out significantly. Um, some of the things he ended up doing quite a bit was writing school announcements and uh, and doing the, the captain's corners in the newsletters every week. Uh, he's the kind of player that every coach wants to have on his team. In fact, uh, a couple of the coaches have talked to me in the past, uh, both uh, Neil Postis from Cathedral's Prep in, uh, here in Pennsylvania, as well as uh, the coaches from Ann Arbor Pioneer uh, who have commented that uh, they wish they had a team full of mics, and uh, I don't blame them. He was nominated for All-State by the Michigan Water Polo Association. He's also nominated for All-American for Junior Olympics. He was uh, All-Region, All-County, All-Academic uh, All-State, and he was, he will also be an Academic All-American from Troy High School. Mike Jackson. <laughs> Probably still be a club 
Um, I'm also really glad I had the chance to meet such great friends, uh, both with the players and uh, especially also with the parents. Uh, I have such fond memories of times of, uh, in Cleveland, Ohio with uh, Mr. Martone and Mr. Thomas, and John Martone, my dad, John Thomas, Greg Trevisan. It's really some fun times. <laughs> Also, I know I had some good times with Mr. Javizian, always kind of sitting around at tournaments talking about whatever. He was a really good guy. I'm glad I got a chance to meet him. Uh, particularly, I want to thank the coaches. Uh, they're extremely dedicated, and we, we know the enormous, enormous amount of sacrifice they make for our team. Um, I know that Mr. Jackson uh, oftentimes got up at 4.30 in the morning so that he could get to our practice in the evening. Um, that, was really, that was really special. I mean, he did. That was a huge sacrifice. I know Warren also had to uh, leave his relatively new wife who was here on all those uh, long, cold fall evenings. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know Warren wants to see <laughs> Warren also, he always, Warren always, always kept us on task, you know, he always, we were kind of messing around, trying to stay out of the water, hiding behind the goals, hiding behind the pads. He'd always find a way to, you know, see me and throw the ball at me and not in the water, run a belly. So um, he also fascinated us with our, his great stories. I mean, I know you guys know we've been on the team for a while. You go out to a tournament and you can just listen to Warren for hours just talking about days when he was a kid and all this, all this past living experiences. Um, <laughs> But uh, in all seriousness, no, uh, I extremely appreciate all the support the parents have given. If it wasn't for you guys, uh, our team wouldn't be the same. All the support that you guys have given to myself and our entire team is really special. Uh, I'll definitely miss the water polo and uh, the great times that come with all the good friends and parents. Thank you.
I, I really miss my, my dad coaching me. Um, it's been a really great time for me to get really close to him. And um, I, I couldn't have asked anything better than this season. Um, I'd also like to thank my, my mom and my sister and the rest of my family because they had to give up their time with my dad so he could, he could share it with me. Um, I know my sister was always disappointed about her, him missing her basketball games and I was complaining, oh, she can't go to my basketball game because of water program. <laughs> so so um, now, now's the time that he can, he can go to your, your games and everything. Um, but um, I, I'd like to thank my dad and um, I really miss the, the um, founding father of water polo in Troy. I love you, Dad. that the Troy School District has done uh, this year is, and I think actually they started last spring at some of the spring sports, but they started to participate in the uh, Gatorade uh, Will to Win program. And the Gatorade Will to Win program is a special program that's focused on three critical parts of athletics. Performance, desire, and leadership. Um, those, are, those are really good, noble, um, attributes that you gain from playing and participating in sports. And one of the things that they uh, they do is they give out, they have six awards that they will give for each sport at uh, Troy High School. And um, so what we did is, Warren and I talked a little bit about how we're going to decide on performance, um, desire, and leadership. So earlier tonight you heard me stumble through all the different categories of people, how many people are in the top 12 in each category. And so we basically uh, broke it down to uh, two factors. Uh, performance would be, would be measured by how many offensive categories you were uh, listed in the top 12. And desire and leadership would be um, based on your performance and participation in practice during the season. So I would like the following uh, uh, players to come forward. Uh, Chris Johnson, Greg Losey, Chris Chambers, Matt Benatelli, Nikhil Oak, and Mike Jackson. These are our six recipients of the Gatorade um, Will to Win program, and they will be uh, I think you get a whistle, a t-shirt, and some other stuff. And for those seniors, you also get an application for a scholarship for $5,000, which you can apply for, and there will, there will be 50 of those uh, given out across the country, as I understand. If a, if a Troy athlete is selected, uh, the Troy schools also get $1,000. So, but it's, uh, it's well-deserved. Um, you guys epitomize what we want to have in our athletic programs in the Troy School District. Uh, it's uh, it, and we really appreciate all your efforts. So congratulations. <laughs> 